Hi, thanks for stopping by the garden. Today is Saturday, February 27th. You know what that means, a little weed-free review and you. You caught me out here this morning kind of outlining the new garden layout. I got to get this new fence put in and get this hot wire back up and running. Either that armadillo or a raccoon or both been out here digging a little bit. While we had everything in coal frames, it didn't matter. But now we got some young stuff coming up and there's some signs they've been in the garden. We got to get this wrapped up. We got to get some more mulch down. When you finish up mulching, really pay attention to the areas that you've walked on a lot. Areas you think might be deep enough might surprise you and not have very much at all. Mulch is a Mulch is one of those things you've got to continually do. You add all year long. I'm just trying to get as much down as I can before I move this fence. I've had the hot wire off for a little while. We've got quite a few spots. We've got dead shorts, leaves up against them, things of that nature. And I am going to expand this garden. Having the critters come in is one thing. They're after the grub worms, and that's fine. But here in a second, we're going to take a look at what they did to the garden so far. I mean, it's awful to make it all the way through the polar vortex, then have some kind of critter dig up your bok choy. But that's gardening. Now, if you can see the dig marks, been up in here, disturbed that, then up over here. This is not as bad as it has been. Up over here in the corner where the carrots are, up around there. All these little disturbed spots. We have all this lettuce that made it through this polar vortex. But we have areas right here, right here, right there. The stuff in the coal frames are doing the best. They're the most protected. I guess I will have to set the frames up at night just to keep the critters out until I get the fence fixed. Our lettuce, our cilantro, and our beets. We've been able to eat off of those every day. We're still getting some really nice tops off of these beets. We took out the rest of the arugula to let this lettuce down below have a chance to get some sun. Now I've got a little bit more mulch to put in. I've got a little bit of fence to do. While I'm doing that, let's take a look at what you've been doing at your house. Using the deep mulch. He pulled it back this morning, getting ready to plant some cool weather crops. Look how nice this soil is. Art's never one to shy away from an experiment. He's going to see if he can't sprout seeds right in those K-cups. We're excited to see what the outcome of that is. I also gave Art some sweet potato slips and he said we could watch the progress of those throughout the year. He's already got them potted up in solo cups. Larry and Michelle sent in a picture of this hibiscus and this lace cup hydrangea. Might add some beautiful color to your garden. Bear promised to give me a couple of his tomatoes again this year, and he's already got them sprouted. I'm looking forward to that. Valerie, is that Texas snow outside the window of your peppers? We look forward to seeing how your garden grows this year. Thanks for sending these in. And that's quite the fashion statement on your helper. Gary's new to our celebrations. Gary has raised beds and containers. He's using the deep mulch. It's warm enough in Mississippi that he's going full force. He's got a lot of things sprouted already. I've linked Gary's new channel in the description box below. He's got some nice things going on over there. Gary, this is great. Keep us posted. We're going to like to see how big your garden gets this year. This two-week polar vortex that we just went through didn't help anybody's plants out, even the ones that they put in the garage to try to save. Just like me, a lot of people didn't have enough room. But while Walter and Lucy fret over the peppers, wonder if they're going to actually survive, Nora is keeping the house full of beautiful colors. Walter, you tell Lucy, I've still got a little bit of green on mine. Looks like you still got a little bit of green on yours. I'll bet they're a little tougher than we think they are. Well, we'll see what we get. 
Every Saturday I'm going to carve out a little bit of time for the sweet potato experiment. It's just been seven days. Look how many roots we have already. We're going to let this fill out quite a little bit before we go ahead and put them in containers. Thanks for spending a few minutes on this Saturday afternoon to see what we're doing in the garden and to celebrate what your neighbors are doing around the world. If you'd like to send some photos in so we can help celebrate what you're doing in your garden, just email me at waylandsmalley5 at gmail.com. I guarantee it, we'd all love to help celebrate what you're doing in your garden. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.